Okay, so this is for ECE 4305 lab for the fall of 2021. And this is lab 11, the keyboard or mouse uh, controlled chasing LEDs. Um, so we can see here, I don't have my FPGA programmed right now, but um, just to show you for this lab, uh, I am using this Logitech 211 keyboard, wireless keyboard. Um, but unfortunately, once this de device boots, uh, it sends the scan code for the the mouse to be initialized and then the keyboard. So based on um, the init function that we have, uh, we're only going to be able to use this touchpad um, uh, to interact with our PS2 program. Um, okay, so I'm going to load our FPGA. Um, and we could also see that over here we have our putty window just so that way we could see our raw our, our outputs and whatnot um so while the fpga is being programmed we could see that our um our wireless adapter is not in here so i have some error codes that pop up based on the the init function so we could see here that the fifo is empty so um we're not getting any response and it's going to wait until i put in the the USB dongle over here, and with a little bit of a delay, we'll see that it says mouse connects. There we go. So um, the this, the initial starting value that I have for delay is 100 milliseconds, and we could see that right here that it's uh, chasing at about a 100 millisecond delay. Um, and if I wanna pause it, I can press this left button right here, and we could see that we go into the pause state, and then I could press it again, and then now we're continuing. Okay. So the way I calculated the new delay based on mouse values, um, since we're only getting uh, updated positions, the value does not increase a lot. So I decided to sum um, all the, the X values that we get. So if I right click right here, which I just did, uh, I'll do it again just to, um, just to make sure. Um, so if I right click, right, we could see right here that um, we're going into a sum mode. So if I start to swipe right, let's see if I can get this in the shot. If I start to swipe right, we can see that our sum values start to increase positively. And if I swipe left, we could start to see that um, the values become more and more negative. So I'm gonna swipe pretty far to the right. Um, Let's get it to about uh, about a half a second delay right here. So we could see right here that our sum's about that value. And then if I right click, okay, then it says that the the new raw speed or the raw speed read from the sum was 406, but based on the algebraic conversion, we get about a, f uh, a 506 millisecond delay. And we can see that our delay definitely did increase. Okay. So I also accounted for the case where it was negative. So um, let's say we wanted to have a more negative value. Uh, it converts it to a positive value over here. So taking the absolute value and then we're still at about a half a second delay right here. Okay. And um, if I make it extremely, extremely large uh, beyond the, the 999 value, we could see that I just uh, cap it out at 900 and 99. So then we get a really, really large delay. And it works in the, the, the negative case too, just because of these two if statements right here. Um, so that concludes um, this lab.